Now I think I'm gonna go through my shirt drawer, or my shirts in the closet. <sighs> Yay. I'm just gonna lay here. Guys, it's raining outside. Everybody and welcome to vlogmas day 17 I've just put makeup on done my hair and I'm gonna insert some footage of doing our closet clear out um, it is currently now 1 15 so I'm gonna insert that first um, as you can see my closet is not glorious fabulous but we're getting the job done and now Larry and I have to run out run a few errands really quick we just did a cute little Instagram live, which I loved. So if you guys are not following me over on Instagram, head over and do so. It's Minx Mindy and also follow, follow Larry. His is Larry Lynx. And I did a lot of updates over on my Instagram live, um, talking about baby update, talking about life update, talking about the Barcroft video and when it's gonna be released. Um, so yeah, if you guys are not following us over on Instagram, Head over and do so, because that seems to be where things usually happen first. Um, but then I do want to do a more in-depth video about all of those things here on YouTube coming soon. But today is just going to be closet clear out, organizing, getting rid of things that we don't need. And it's just nice to start out the new year with decluttering and getting rid of a lot of stuff. So, but first we're going to head out to the P.O. Box. Um... You're not in the right spot. <laughs> First, we're going to head over to the P.O. Box, check what is there. Oh, 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 I have to give that um, sweet girl that bought the jeans. I need to ship her jeans to her. Where is them? Here they are. Here is the jeans. So we need to ship these. Also, because we are doing a massive, holy crap, because we're doing a massive closet clear out, some of the items I'm donating to charities, some of the items I'm donating to friends, and some of the items I will be selling. And such as these American Eagle jeans. I've just sold these over on my Instagram stories, but um, a lot of people recommended that I do a Poshmark account. So I have created that. So I'm gonna be selling some things over the next few days, weeks. <sighs> yeah, so if they're in good condition, then I'm gonna sell them. If they're not, then I don't want to give you guys some foo-foo, <laughs> used, dirty stuff. This is gently used, still in great condition, so these I'm gonna ship off. And then I need to ship off the box for the giveaway winner from last week, and I hope everybody gets their stuff by Christmas. Oh my gosh, that stresses me out. Um, so anyways, we're gonna run some errands, and then when we come back, we are going to finish the closet clear out and that's gonna be all the drawers and all of that good stuff. My makeup's a little different today. Very basic, no eyeshadow. No way. I don't think we're gonna have time to do the unboxing in this video. If you guys want a dedicated PO unboxing video, let me know in the comments below because I have a feeling that usually takes up a pretty long video. You know, I think it would be too long to do a closet clear out plus unboxing so all right so I've just folded a full load of laundry and I have been motivated to sort out my wardrobe so I have taken out every single pair of jeans that I own and I'm gonna try them all on what doesn't fit is going I'm gonna donate them or sell them depending on what the brand is okay so I just found the coolest pair of pants that I forgot I had they're from Hot Topic I believe I got them two years ago and just found them buried in that pile of jeans look at them oh my gosh how cool are they so they have patches they have Godric's Hollow here Azkaban Prison Diagon Alley here I hope you guys are seeing that and then on this side we have a welcome to Hogsmeade patch it's just so cool Forgot I had these. I'm very happy about it. All right, so we're making some progress here. And What's I this just... wee stuff? <laughs> I'm not doing anything. 
I've made some progress. And I just found, excuse my belly, but I just found a pair of American Eagle jeans. Like this is how high I like my jeans to come, either right at my belly button or even above, which I don't have. But I like that they come up just as high in the back. Cause sometimes I'll have it high up here and then it'll come down really low. I don't know, maybe that's because I'm bloated. I have a bloated tummy. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Oh my this, god, Larry. This is how high I wear my jeans. <laughs> you do not. You used to, I think. I don't think so. You you have them way pulled up. I do. I mean, you even gave yourself a little, um... <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> this is where they should be. Yeah, that's where you wear them, yeah. Okay, I've added a little headband so I don't feel so weird, but... I have just tried on all my jeans, not bad. I would say we kept half and we're getting rid of half. So here, or maybe a little more than half. So this is the half that we are keeping. And then this is the half that does not fit. So we have Levi, American Eagle. Um, these I've worn past, or not these ones. Um, I don't even know what these are. These are from Pennies. They're just some khakis. These I think I've worn past to be able to sell. Um, so I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I think I'm just gonna donate them. Uh, Lucky brand, Jade jeans, and then a pair of Hollister jeans. Now I think I'm gonna go through my shirt drawer, or my shirts in the closet. <sighs> Yay. Oh, okay, we made it. Okay, I popped on a shirt now. <laughs> So we're not doing this like half naked. But anyways, here's the tip, guys. If you want to go through your closets and get rid of stuff, if you're not going to wear it, if you look at it and you're like, hmm, when's the last time I wear that? I don't remember. Let's get rid of it. We're just going to get rid of it. Right, babe? Yeah. Do you want me to do your closet too? I don't care. With you. I need you with me. Oh. So I'll run through mine and then I'll grab you in here and you can tell me keep or not keep. I'm going to eat. Yeah, go eat. Do you see my coffee? I also have The Nightmare Before Christmas on 25 Days of Christmas on Freeform, which makes me very happy. What the boogie is? I know, I cleared that off and she's gonna sit there. It might be on my vanity. Oh, you know what? I know I am never gonna wear these. These are another pant option. They're white, but they're just such a strange material and I don't like them, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Is Thanks, that babe. Yeah, I need a new cup. And I apologize, this isn't like that super glamorous YouTuber closet clear out. This is what my closet looks like, welcome. And it's not all bright and pretty and white, it's just, it's just a closet. So let's go through this together. And then we'll have lots of hangers that we can move. Let the time lapse commence. Love this, but I'm not gonna lie. It's getting a little small on me, which is kind of concerning, but we're still gonna rock it, still gonna keep it in case 2020 brings healthy eating. I love these shirts. They fit so perfectly. I used to wear them all the time. Oh, thanks, babe. Love you. You even put it in a little Santa mug. Mmm, very hot. Very delicious. These just do not fit me. Oh my god, and it's so sad. I love these so much. They're the Hogwarts cardigans, but they just don't fit me that well. Alright, let's just try them on. Let's see, that's, that's just too tight. I don't like that. Oh no. Yeah, you know what? I think I might sell a little Hogwarts section on Instagram too, because just is not happening. Same exact issue with this one from Hot Topic. Literally is the cutest. Has a little owl here. Has wands on this side. I got it in a medium. Should have went up another size. It literally still has the tags on. I've tried this on so many times and then I'm just like, you know, it's just not suiting or flattering to me. So I have to get rid of it.
Under Armour from when I lived in Ohio that clearly I'm not using either. It's been back there since I moved and I've never worn it. <laughs> topic velvet skirt so I'll sell that along with the Harry Potter outfits Okay, so here is the progress that we've made. Here are all my tank tops. Um, and then that Harry Potter shirt, which is kind of like a crop top. Then I have yellow t-shirts, black t-shirts. These are like basic t-shirts. I have a t-shirt problem. This is something that I bought in New York. Don't ask me why. It was an impulse buy and I have no idea what I wear it with, but it happened. And then all of these are just white basic tees. These are all really like light, kind of like fluffy t-shirts, which I love wearing here in the summer in Florida. So these are all the t-shirt section, which is pretty much what I live in in the summer here. Then I have these two, which again we talked about are just kind of like spring vibes. Uh, crop tops, I have two of those. Another, I don't know how to describe that. These are my more of like thin, basic sweaters. And then I have the set of crop top house sweaters from Hot Topic. So I have the Hufflepuff, Slytherin, so I'm keeping all of these. And then more crop top hooded sweatshirts. That's what these are, and these, and those, and then Beauty and the Beast, and then these are more of my like nicer sweaters. By the way, like half of this closet is from thrift store and Target, no joke, um, but mostly thrift store. This I've had for years, since I was like 18 or 19, so I still have this in here. And then my nicer sweaters, this I just got from Target, it has strings on it. And then my, my crew neck sweaters, like why do I have so many of these? Maybe because these are what I lounge around in the house with. So these are all crew neck sweatshirts. And then this is all of my original very first merchandise launch with Larry and Lexi. So I have all of those. So I have the high and the family logos. So those are all our merchandise. And then just some more basic sweatshirts. Then back here, is all my hoodies so like Ohio State Reformatory which is where we got married and then a Gryffindor hoodie from Hot Topic my only Victoria's Secret pink hoodie I got rid of so much Victoria's Secret stuff years ago and then this Ohio hoodie keeping forever Midview high school softball my sweatshirt from there another Midview high school softball shirt do you guys remember did you guys do this like when you cut your hoodies um, Cleveland Indians, and then another Ohio State Reformatory. This is all Christmas sweaters right here. And then some of them are like cardigans, like thicker, fancier cardigans. And then this is all like business attire if I ever need it, which I have not yet. Sometimes I do, but not really. Um, <laughs> some other things right there. And then just some jackets. And there's only three of those back here. Oh. <sighs> All right, I need to go through all of this. This is bras, scarves, things that I never really use. This is the items that I think I'm going to sell. They're all really nice. Some of them still have the tags on. All Harry Potter inspired from Hot Topic or from Universal Studios. And then this is all going to be donate. This is a scarf that I rarely use, so I am going to donate that. Oh, I love this hat. I wear this a lot. When I was like 19, 18, 19, 20, do you guys remember when those longer necklaces were in style? Well, I went on an owl spree of necklaces, so that's what a lot of these are. This I'm gonna keep. This is like a nicer lanyard holder. So I'll keep that one. And then I 
saw Larry's police tag in here. Yeah, that's this one. So I'm gonna keep that one. And then the rest, I think I'm just gonna donate all of these owl necklaces. So I don't wear them anymore. We have like 50,000 belts, but I only wear one. I don't know if Larry wears them either. So we're gonna go through the belt drawer. I'm gonna donate this one. Belts, I'm going through the belts. I don't know. Okay, do you wear this one? Um, occasionally, yes. Okay, so we'll keep that one. Do you need this one? Summertime brings out the hats in Florida, doesn't it? It does. Ah, do you guys remember these? Look! It's the Twilight series, and then I have the Fifty Shades of Grey series in here. I need to reread that. I'm just saying, because those are something else. Not appropriate for everyone. Ugh. All right. Let's sort out these suitcases. Oh my God. I found, that's a weird angle. I found this note in a book, and it's from my mom. It's dated July 22nd, 2013. Hi, Mindy. I hope you enjoy your package. We all miss you and wish you were here. Let me know when you receive your goodies. Love always, Mom. <laughs> oh, my God. How cute is that? That's when I was living in Ohio by myself, and my family moved down here to Florida. That is so cute. Keeping this forever, which is why it's still in here. Soap. Why do we have random Neutrogena soap on the freaking floor? I don't know. All right, so I made this really cute, I don't even know if you guys can see it, but a little hideaway box for Lexi in case she got scared and she doesn't use it. So I'll be getting rid of that. Hi guys, we are back from grocery shopping. So I'm gonna take everything out of the bags, show you what we got, and then I think we're gonna eat lunch. Guess what we're having for dinner? Tacos and chili, which I'm very happy about. And yeah, closet clear out went great. I still have to do the dressers and drawers. Um, I'm not sure if I am going to film the drawers. I mean, the closet was a big task and I still have laundry to do. So I think we're just gonna do the grocery haul and then I'm gonna relax and yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so for tacos tonight, I have the McCormick's Organics Taco Seasoning Mix. Then I have my Sugar-Free Peppermint Mocha Creamer by Coffee Mate. Cherry tomatoes, I think the cherry tomatoes are far better than the big tomatoes. Larry picked out some popcorn chicken, mozzarella cheese for my low carb pizzas, taco shells. Larry picked out the brown and serve original sausage patties, a lime for my tacos, an onion. Uh, Larry's having chili, so whole corn for his chili, the no salt added. Just a head of lettuce, two pounds of lean ground beef, bacon. Mm, Larry loves these cinnamon French toast sticks. Larry's also the big ice cream eater in the house. You guys know you see him sitting in the house with tubs of ice cream. Uh, we have chocolate and then two mint chocolate chips, which I'm going to pass over to Larry now to get those in the freezer so they don't melt. Then, soups. Larry picked out sirloin burger, 
old fashioned vegetable beef. Oh, this is for Larry's chili. It's the no salt added sauce. Um, and then another sirloin burger and another sirloin burger. So Larry likes those. These were buy one, get one free. So were these actually. Um, this is the Lysol disinfectant wipes. Propel, Larry's Wonder Bread for his hot dogs, hamburgers, and then English muffins, and that is everything. So, let's put this away and balance you guys on a very bizarre tripod, also known as the paper towel roll. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, I want to. Hold on, I gotta open the door for Lexi because she wants to go outside. You wanna go outside, babies? Look at this. You wanna go outside? Ugh. Um, I'm almost ready to just like sit on the couch and watch Downton Abbey. <laughs> what do you think about that? Very interesting. <laughs> Oh, stopped at the P.O. box. You guys are so amazing. And this isn't all of it. We have some that's in the guest bedroom, but. Here, I'll go from down here so I don't show any addresses, but that's everything. And then there's a bunch of cards and stuff on that box. So uh, we will need to be doing a P.O. unboxing soon. And I'm so tired. I'm just going to lay. I'm just. I'm just going to lay here. You want to eat lunch and watch Downton? Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Are you sure? Are you lying to me? Mm -hmm. I'm so tired. We went to bed very late. We didn't go to bed until 2 in the morning last night. Which morning. was not, which is not like us at all. Larry and I do this thing every night where, <laughs> I just realized how weird that could sound. Um, where we do quizzes so we lay in bed and we do like trivia quizzes like game of thrones trivia or harry potter trivia down abbey trivia or just life trivia we just larry finds the quizzes and then he asks me the questions and we go back and forth and that's literally what we do but we were up until two in the morning doing trivia quizzes so well, I was doing other things yeah plus larry lays in bed with the light on forever in a day getting his calendar book all up to date, which does come in handy, let me tell you guys, but. Guys, it's raining outside. We haven't had a thunderstorm since like summertime. We have thunder, because we got really warm and humid. I'm talking to my mom on the phone, and yeah. I'm gonna show you guys the storm. Yeah. It is officially time to do Advent Day 17. Lexi is so brave. She is on her chair. It is completely pouring down rain, and she's usually terrified of rainstorms, thunderstorms, and she's just out there living her life. She must be tired. Like me. 17. Day 17. Holy crap. Next week it'll be Christmas Eve. I know. Oh my goodness. Holiday on the TV, by the way. Here, babe, move forward a little bit. There we go. I will help you keep track of your days if you look for me behind the lays. Is that kind of good? Yeah. <laughs> Yay! So let's go to the pantry, I'm guessing. Aha! Oh my gosh! Hey, that's me! <laughs> I know, I had to get it because that's who you were for Halloween. Yeah. Now tell me, this isn't going to go on the wall with the Harry Potter calendar. It actually you? is. It is? It is. Oh my god. I figured because we fell in love with Game of Thrones this year, we loved it so much that it was only right that we use a Game of Thrones calendar. But Potter fans. Potter fans. Don't get upset. <laughs> they won't because I'll have, I need to find another day at a time tear off Harry Potter calendar, but... And I heard this. a rumor that you're getting a Harry Potter calendar book. I am? Oh yeah, I am! So that is going to go here once this one is finished. <gasps> did you see? Did you see the back? Look who's on my birthday. 
Ah. And the funny thing is, is he's on Christmas, which winter is coming. January, February, March, April, Look May. Look who's May, July. <gasps> yeah, Tyrion. Tyrion. Somebody asked the other day, who is my favorite Game of Thrones character? It was Tyrion. Yeah, Tyrion yeah. is my favorite plus, plus Daenerys. So... All right, guys, we're going to end this vlog here. I need to get this edited so you guys can see it tomorrow. We hope you guys enjoyed this closet clear out. I did not complete the job. I was supposed to well, do the drawers as well, and I'm just so tired. I'm, I'm, I'm pooped out. You'll have to forgive her. I know what the closet looked like before she so did they. into it. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm, I'm surprised I didn't have um, jackhammers and... Uh, heavy equipment moving in to get some, through some of that stuff. All right. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And we love you very much. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Well, hello, everybody. So I actually have ended the vlog. And I'm actually coming back to the vlog because I'm going to film on my phone. And we're going to extend this vlog a little bit because we are having some complications. My SD card is not reading in my computer. Basically, sorry if this is shaky, I'm trying to put my shoes on. My computer did a software a software update called Catalina and it has totally screwed up my laptop and it just won't work. So, whoops. Thankfully, we were able to get an appointment at 8.40 all the way out in Tampa. So that is where we are currently heading. I'm really nervous that there's gonna be no vlog mess. So if we actually pull this off tonight, this will be a cute clip. If we don't pull it off tonight, <laughs> This would be a frustrating clip. But yeah, we were expecting to have a cash evening at home. I was gonna sit down and edit this video. And now here we are, driving to Tampa in the rain. Cash, can't even say the word. Cash. <laughs> Ready. Not bad drive, huh? It was an easy drive. We're here. We're actually at the Citrus Park one. I've never been here, so yeah. Oh my. <clears throat> we are currently in Best Buy. Phone comes much closer. He does understand what we mean. For some reason, like I said, what happened was I downloaded the new program onto the external hard drive. Hard drive. So there's two that are popping up. One with all my Vlogmas videos and all of my two years of videos. And then one that's just the update and it won't go away. And then my SD card is just not reading. So they do know what I mean. So hopefully we'll get it fixed. Vlogmas is back! Yay! So basically, what happened was, we're back in the car from Best Buy, and basically Catalina, the update, this lighting is so weird, I apologize, but basically the update of Catalina totally bugged my computer, it almost ruined my computer, well it did, and it's not working correctly anymore, so they were going to have to keep it for three days at least, and I was like, oh no, 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 this is Vlogmas, we cannot do this during Vlogmas. I was like, is there anything else we can do? And he like thought of a quick idea and we were gonna see if it works because my SD card reader isn't working either anymore because of the update. And he got a, what's it called, honey? Uh, SB external um, drive. Yeah, chip read. SD yeah, card. It's a, yeah, what he said, like it's an external. So you can plug your SD card into that and then that plugs into the computer and it worked and it popped up and I nearly cried. Thank you so much, Tyler, for fixing it and giving us this idea to help us because I was like, there's no way I can turn on my computer. After Vlogmas, yes. Before Vlogmas, absolutely not. I cannot miss three days. It's not, not acceptable in my eyes. So, oh my gosh, I'm so happy so happy so now it's time to get off back home and edit it is like what time is it it's like nine o'clock and yeah great excellent Woo! well done tyler yeah all right guys i'm gonna get home get us home and then edit love you guys thanks for watching thanks for staying tuned wow this was crazy and i was really nervous but it's all good love you bye, bye.